guys, I'm Steph. And I'm Richard. Question from Valeria Gonzalez. Hi, from Puerto Rico, I love your videos. I want to ask the boys or men in Korea are always so not romantic like in the movies or dramas. They are like, when they kiss. Ellos de verdad son muy serios. Parece que no tienen afecto ninguno por la chica. Should I translate that? You should translate that for the viewers. I think it says, they truthfully are very serious. It seems like they don't have any affection for the girl. Mm. I think that's what it says. I'm pretty sure. You should be sure. <laughs> Your Spanish is much better than mine. It's a little rusty. Now she's referring to Korean dramas, correct? I'm pretty sure she's referring to Korean dramas. Though not all Korean dramas, I have to admit. Which ones? Weekday night, the whole family is going to sit down and watch, including little Tommy and Susie, except we're in Korea, so it's little Ji Young and Hyanu. They're gonna sit down <laughs> and they're gonna watch this together. They don't make it very sexy. Give an example, which one? Boys Over Flowers, or Heirs, or The Prime Minister and I. Even um, You Who Came From The Stars, which just came out and just finished. There's all these dramas that are out there where the kisses are just really not that sexy. Why do you think that is? I just said why that is, because the little Little kids are watching it. They don't want to give them bad ideas. So they're making the kisses bad. The directors are directing the actors to kiss a certain way because these are family dramas and that's literally the only reason. I think it's a combination. It's a family drama, but also it doesn't really matter and they end up taking like 20 takes to I film think these. it matters a little bit though because, you know, when I was a kid growing up, TV was restricted <laughs> and TV is still restricted in the US, but things have opened up quite a bit now. You can see nudity on some of the cable channels where you can never see nudity years ago. Nudity was only on HBO. You see a lot more violence, a lot more sexual... Suggestiveness? Yeah, you know, like the kissing and the, <laughs> the whole sex Sexiness and bed scenes are a lot more prevalent on TV now. I just wonder if Korea is gonna follow this trend. Are there any Korean dramas that actually have really sexy kisses? Yes, there are. There certainly are Korean programs that have very sexy kisses, but those dramas are designed for older people and not people of all ages. For example, the I Need Romance series, which is geared towards women, older women like in their 20s and 30s and 40s, like that age group. What time is that when aired on TV? I don't know. But isn't the time slots almost the same? Well, the popular dramas, the dramas that are designed to be for everyone. So you're saying I Need Romance 3 is not popular? It's not for everyone. It's It's got a specific target group. You Who Came From The Stars is for everyone. Yes. The Prime Minister and I is for everyone. Yes. But I Need Romance 3 is not for everyone? It's not a family drama. So the family dramas, the directors tell the guys to kiss poorly. In a lot of the big family style dramas that are super popular that everyone watches, you don't have those super sexy kissing scenes. What about Airs? Now Airs to me was that, I think it was episode 16, <clears throat> that's a long, deep, sexy kiss. Was Airs considered a family drama? Airs was considered a family drama, but that long, deep, and sexy kiss that you're talking about in the broom closet or whatever that place was, Pak Shin Hae was not even aware that he was going to kiss her beforehand. Which is probably why the kiss was so good. Which is also probably why it looked so freaking awkward. I didn't think it was awkward. I thought it was a pretty good performance, at least on Eamon Ho's part. I've seen other Eamon Ho kisses that look really stiff and awkward. This one seemed better. It seemed more and I hate to say Western, but it looked more like a natural kiss, which is what the viewing audience, or at least the foreign viewing audience expects. The Korean viewing audience isn't necessarily the same as the Western international viewing audience. Isn't it important that what people see on TV actually represents a certain culture or country? Even if it doesn't, it still does. I mean, how often have we gotten the question that is this particular scene or is this particular thing that happens in a Korean drama like what happens in Korea. Korean dramas are generally fiction. That would mean that men here are really good kissers since most of the kissing scenes in Korean dramas aren't that good. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying going into can Korean men kiss? I frankly don't know but I can tell you about men around the world and how they kiss 
reason that is you have some good kissers, you have some bad kissers. But I can say that you don't see a lot of kissing on the street in Korea. Now, have you ever had a conversation with your girlfriends, Korean girls, about this particular topic? No! Never? Well, I'm, I'm older, so we don't talk about the kissing. You're 27. You're not that old. Yeah, but that's something that I talked about when I was in high school. Like, oh, kissing. You talk about kissing in high school. In my late 20s, we talk about... What? Sex. <laughs> Thank God this is going on YouTube and not on TV. Yeah. What about your friends that are about your age? You do talk to them, you talk to them about sex. Yeah. Okay, so kissing must be part of that conversation. No. Not at all? Not really. You've never once had a conversation with a Korean girl about whether or not one of her boyfriends or ex-boyfriends or someone that she dated was a good kisser. Actually, I had a conversation with a former student about kissing. I had that when students would come in and they wanted like dating advice during their speaking finals or whatever. And they would be, you know, talking about, oh, they like this guy or that guy. Korean girls do appreciate good kisses, but I think that kissing just kind of universally is something that like, you know, even if the guy isn't good at the beginning, you can always train him to be a better kisser according to your style. You've done that before then? Of course! How was I in the beginning? I think I was pretty good. You weren't a bad kisser in the beginning. It's honest. When was the last time you saw someone kissing on the street in public? Oh my goodness. I'm sure over a year. Oh, come on. That you see them on campus a little bit here and there sneaking kisses with their loved ones. And it's really 50-50. Guys go after the girls and the girls try and say that they're not really interested in doing it in public. But then you see girls who are really in love with their man that kiss or go after trying to sneak a kiss by the bus stop or at the bench. I haven't seen it. I see them holding hands. I see them walking arm in arm. I see them guys carrying books for girls, but I don't really see kissing. So for me, the Korean dramas are kind of a reflection of the real life in that you don't see a lot of kissing out in public. Regarding this theme, this place is really polar opposite of what my experience growing up was. Because mm. I remember when I was in middle school, now mm. the first year of middle school for me was sixth grade so I was probably, what, 11 or 12 years old? I'll never forget the first day of school. The day finished and I got on the bus and there was probably like 25 buses in a loop all, you know, loading up at the same time. I sat and looked out the window and there was an eighth grade couple that were making out and they were going at it, full tongue in each other's mouth. And I was like, oh my God, look at that right there. They're kissing, it's crazy. But that was the first day it made a lasting impression on me. You know, here we are talking about university students and they're barely holding hands in public. It's a different society. Think about your own parents. A lot of Koreans that I've talked to, like they've never seen their parents really be affectionate with each other. Even in the home environment, everything is done behind closed doors. When I think about my parents, I remember being like four years old trying to push my parents apart because my dad came home and he gave my mom like a hey honey, I'm home kiss. And I was like, ew, I wanna get between you guys. I'm like, no, this is gross. You used to do that too? Yeah. We used to do that. <laughs> Maki does it now. <laughs> <laughs> What was the sexiest kiss in a Korean drama you've ever seen? I still lean towards Coffee Prince, like the Coffee Prince kiss with Yun and Hae and Gong Yu, how they're up against the door and like they're just all over the apartment and rolling on the bed together. How funny is that, that Coffee Prince being one of the most well-known Korean dramas of all time, up there with Boys Over Flowers, according to you at least, has the most sexiest kisses of all of them. Hmm, coincidence? You think not? I don't know! Maybe Korean dramas need sexier kisses and their international audience ship will grow a lot faster than it's growing up. Probably. I, I'm not saying that that isn't true. I think you seriously have something there. We're not even talking about like sex and like super deep bed scenes. We're talking about slightly more <laughs> attractive kisses. So that's it for today's Lucky. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. If you have a question for us, <laughs> drop a note in the comments. You can head to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash hollyouback, or you can leave us a note on our blog in the comments section. And like this video, add it to your favorites. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for awesome, I say awesome all the time, for life in Korea and Asian drama videos. That's it for today's life in Korea. Experience, Experience it! it!
I'm glad that you like this sweater now. This was the one that was at the end of You Who Came From The Stars. He was in one of those scenes there. He, it definitely looked like this, so now you're going to wear it more, right? 